Hey guys. Okay, so this little video is going to cover what you're doing if you're using registration methods other than overprint. So let's say that you are using knockout or you're using uh, trapping or an outline, for instance, which many of you are. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our template. So uh, as I mentioned in the other video, if you happen to watch it, there's a few things going on. There's uh, some guides, um, some registration marks that you guys can see right here. Um, that are locked and then on uh, this layer there is the um, we're going to shut this off so you can see it better there's the pennant color which incorporates all of this and then there's a little guide that shows exactly where your artwork should fall somewhere in this area leave this little rectangle blank so I'll turn these back on um, and the guides off the first thing we need to do is grab one of our icons uh, we're going to grab this one right here and go back to our template and paste it. I'm going to drag it off the artboard so I can see it. I um, suppose after that the next thing I should do is um, change this to my color so I can kind of lay it out properly. Um, let's just say I want it to be this uh, we'll go with this like apple colored green. So now uh, my pennant is that color and my icon I want to be let's say a blue. I don't know why but it's blue. So in laying this out I'm gonna just arbitrarily choose that the icon needs to go this way. I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees. Obviously it needs to be resized just a bit. So I'm going to resize it and we'll say I want it not quite that big but Pretty big, so we'll say that. So there's a few different ways we can do this. Um, we will pretend, for the purposes of this demo, that we want the um, we want this to be outline registration. So we're going to go up. All you guys should be familiar with this now. We're going to give it an outline using the offset path function, and we're going to preview it. And that doesn't seem quite enough to me, so I'm going to go a full eighth of an inch. 2125, get rid of that extra zero, and click OK. So there, it's now white. So that's going to be the background paper color. And maybe I don't want these counterforms, we'll say, to be uh, in there. So I am going to select an anchor point and delete them. Again, you guys should all have a pretty good handle on this. So I'm going to breeze through it. Um, and let's see, I'll just get rid of that one for fun too. Um, so all of those are gone. I'm going to zoom out so I can see a little better. Um, unlike the plotter, because you're just simply printing, it actually is uh, pretty easy. So we're going to make sure that the registration marks are on. Those need to appear on every film positive you make. Um, and we're going to start turning things black. Um, we're turning them black because we want them to print as dense and opaquely as possible. So the easiest way to do that is select um, anything that you're going to print, which is uh, both the icon and the pennant color. You're going to click on your swatches and click black. It's going to turn it to uh, registr registration black um, and then I'm gonna hide this so I can get back to this and we're going to shut off the icon so this is one of your layers that you're gonna wanna print um, that you're gonna wanna output to film um, so with the appropriate layers off with your icon off what you wanna do is go file save as I'm going to select from the format Adobe Illustrator. We're going to give it a name. We're going to give it something appropriate. So this is pennant icon 4, we'll say. And we'll say this is the green plate, just so we can keep track. And we're going to click Save. It's going to pull up a, another option box. And there's a few things we want to uncheck before we go much further. We want to make sure that Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities is unchecked. 
and we especially want to uncheck the create acrobat layers from top level layers. Um, I'm not going to get into exactly why, but it's going to be necessary for film output. So then once those are done, we're going to click Save PDF. It's going to give you a little warning about having unchecked it. Um, it's because you uncheck this box right here um, and that you don't have the ability to drag it right back into Illustrator and pick up where you left off, which for us is OK as long as we have a saved copy as an Illustrator document. I'm going to click OK. And that's going to be one film positive. And then when we go and find it, wherever we happen to save it, which is right here, drag it into preview, it's going to pop up, and that's what it looks like. That's what you guys will want to output um, to the Epson Clear Film uh, printer. And then for our second layer, we're going to come in here, and we are going to turn off the pennant color. Doesn't really matter so much if we turn off the white or not, because white isn't going to print, but we want to make sure that our icon's on. And then we're going to go through the same process. We're going to save as PDF. We're going to say that we wanted that blue, so we're going to name it appropriately. We're going to click Save. And then we're going to double check to make sure that those options were off, and they are. We're going to click Save PDF. Check OK to the uh, warning box. And you're all set. Those two would be ready to output. Um, you could see that that would fall right in the middle. These registration marks will allow us to line it all up on the uh, press. And we're all set.